On Wednesday last week, there was drama at the Constitutional Court with the retired Supreme Court Judge Professor George Kanyihamba publicly weeping after the court allegedly rejected to receive the petition challenging Justice Kavuma's appointment. Justice Kanyihamba claimed the court's leadership led by Justice Kavuma ordered the registry staff to reject any Aunt Kavuma petition until he was vetted and approved by Parliament. The petitioners claim the Judicial Service Commission did not nominate Justice Kavuma's name to be considered by President Yo Museveni for his appointment to the second highest job of the judiciary and that the name is unconstitutional. We are reliably informed that the orders to bar out clients from the accessing of the constitutional court were issued by the court's leadership. In a press statement further read, Given what happened at the constitutional court, the duo petitioners now want the Supreme Court to declare the actions of the Constitutional Court in refusing to register their petition, violated their rights to be heard and the right to petition the Constitution Court under the Constitution, among others. In a related development, the Uganda Law Society, under the leadership of Ruth Sebatindira, has written to the Chief Register of Courts of Judicature, Paul Gardenia, demanding that an investigation be done on the registry staff of the Constitutional Court on why they denied registering the petition challenging Justice Kavuma's appointment. According to the letter, dated March 19, the Law Society states that if the alleged actions of the court staff are correct, the same amounts to abuse of office and that the same is unacceptable in a free and democratic society. We therefore write to officially bring this matter to your attention and specifically request that an investigation be carried out with a view of establishing any of the registry staff or registrar were culpable so they are brought to book. The letter by the Uganda Law Society to the Chief Registrar reads in part, Our request is that this matter be handled urgently and that the Uganda Law Society be advised about the findings. By press time yesterday, the Supreme Court was yet to summon the Attorney General, who is the respondent in this matter, to file in his defense to the allegations before the petition can be heard.